right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And what? What? What's going on? Oh. Oh, when when you die, it shuts the uh, program down. Right. This game doesn't have any kind of menu or anything. It just kind of gets going. Okay. Right. Um. And alive. This is this is not straightforward in the slightest. Right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And um. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to um, a game called Deep Relics, which is apparently, as you can see, a little sort of underwater game um, where you have to go around and collect some some things, some sort of artifact or something that you have heard about that um, you, you you wish to plunder. And it plays in a very small window, and there's no menu or anything. May I have this thing, please? Apparently, you have to press F. But I'm pressing F and nothing's happening. I think I'm being eaten by the fish again. I think I have circumnavigated the dish. The problem is that I... I the problem is that I'm not very good at this, uh, at this movement. Because you have to move the camera with the arrow keys and move... And you have to move the actual character with the WAS keys. I think it would make a bit more sense if, um... If, if moving the camera worked with the mouse, but it doesn't, so there's no much I can do about that. I'm under the impression that these yellow things are the artifacts that I'm looking for, only, um... Only, I, I, I think you have to get close to them and then press the F button, judging by the, uh judging by the read me, so I need to find one that I can get close enough to without getting my bum bitten off by a big old anglerfish. So, um, let me have another try with this one, assuming that that fish is not still trying to bite my patoot. Right, let me see if I can figure out which way is up. I think it's this button to get up. Yes, indeed. Right, let me get good and close. There we are, now press and hold F. Hooray! We did it! Now let's get out of here before fish, fish Man bites my bum off. Yep, there's Fish Man, and I'm pressing the wrong buttons again, because I am so not used to using two sets of, uh, two sets of directional keys at the same time. Okay. Right, I, I don't know how we're gonna get ten with that fish on my tail the whole time. I feel like I need to lose him somehow. I need to be, um, I need to be a bit sort of sneaky about this. It's also strange because you you kind of turn your jeepers creepers in one direction to another direction, but that doesn't affect what direction you're actually going. So if I look down and move forward, that doesn't make me go down. I have to press the the go down button, which is a little confusing. But never mind. Let me have this, please. Ah, thank you. I do quite like this though. It reminds me of um piloting the sea moth in Subnautica and sort of going around the uh, deep seabed looking for um, things like uh, materials and blueprints and uh, and fish and all sorts of other things. Uh -huh. There is another one. I think there's another one down there as well. I think I'll get this one first because I'm already on the right sort of elevation for this one. And that will be easier than uh, going down, will be easier than coming back up, I reckon. Particularly if we are being chased by a creature with big teeth. This also reminds me of a little bit of ocean work and that big old shark that caused me such a pain in the neck trying to uh, constantly bite my bum off. But never mind. Yeah, so I don't actually know what we are or what we're in, whether we're in some kind of little submarine or uh, whether we're just out for a little swim. It is difficult to know. Judging by the fact that that fish didn't eat us in one great big gulp, that leads me to conclude that, um, that, oh gosh, that, um, that these controls are still quite challenging. Um, thank you. <laughs> it's like there's a severe lag between the, um, I think that scary noise means that the fish is about to bite my bum off. Um, it's like there's a, a severe lag between the uh, control sensor where I am and the uh, like remote controlled piece of machinery I'm currently operating. All right, let me have this, please. The slightly concerning thing is that you press the F button and you you have no idea whether or not um, 
whether or not it's actually doing anything or not, which is a little concerning, but uh, we'll get by one way or another. Okay, let's go up on top of this structure here. See if there's anything up here, because we're halfway through. Trouble with these things is when you find one, it then becomes harder to find the next one. Because you're less likely to just bump into it randomly. But uh, we've found this one at least. Yeah, going up and down in this is really rather, um, really rather slow. I do wish you could just kind of point yourself down and then directly drive down rather than, I don't like the sound of this. I really don't like the sound of this. I'm looking at that percentage meter, for, waiting for it to start tumbling. But it hasn't happened yet. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I think this was made for a jam originally, and um, was made in a very short period of time, as uh, most jam games are. So, um, so uh, uh, that might explain why it's a little bit, um, I don't know, you could say it's sort of simple, I suppose, but uh, it does what it needs to be. It is fun and quite cute and quite atmospheric as well, which is, uh, I feel like if there was anything you were going to sacrifice for a jam, uh, for, for a, for a jam gam? For a jam gam. Kidding. <laughs> for a game jam. Um, or even for a jam game, for that matter. Um, I feel like uh, if you were going to sacrifice anything, you'd probably sacrifice things like the audio and the sound design compared to uh, things like the gameplay in the main environment. Pokey pokey noises. Not enjoying them at all. I don't know what these things are. Like big chess pieces or something. Most mysterious. Never mind. Um, you know what I'd like to see one day? I'd like to see a, a game jam where the game's about jam. <laughs> I mean, for, for how many game jams there have been, there's probably been a game jam about jam, but it would be nice. It would be nice to have a little competition where you have to design a game that's all about jam, and if you win the jam, then you get some jam. I think that would be, um, that would be kind of cute. Okay, I think I've searched these four pillars that are behind me relatively thoroughly. So I'm going to head off in a different direction. The thing is, is I can't like take the time to look around me in order to see a big Mr. Fishman is still there. So uh, it's a little difficult for me, but I do spy the seventh one over there. I think there's another one. There's, 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 there's. That's possibly where I began. I'm not entirely sure. Let me get this one first. So that I don't, um, I don't, uh, f lose it. And then we'll go back and have a quick look at what that is. I'm pretty sure that's where we began. Because I think I might have come up towards this, this artifact here. And tried to pick it up by pressing F without realising I needed to hold it down. So, um, down, down, down a bit, down a bit. Am I close enough? Holding the button, goodness knows whether it's good enough or not. Probably not. Come on, come on, come on, come on, I have an old day. There we go, hooray! Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, idiot. The problem with these games, right, like, and Subnautica's guilty of this too, right, this isn't just indie games. The problem is, is with these submarines, they always have a button for, like, rising and falling the vehicle in terms of, like, your altitude. The problem is that it's usually Q and E, and Q and E are to the the left and the right respectively. The problem is that down isn't associated with left in my brain, and up isn't associated with right. It would make a bit more sense if it was like, I don't know, R and F or something, so that you press the button that was above it in order to go up, and the button that was below it in order to go down. I feel like that would make a little bit uh, more sense. But let me get this one. What the noise? It's a bit like a sort of mechanical whirring. Maybe I'm like extending a little, um, a little grabby arm or something in order to reach out with my little robot mitten and um, and grasp the item. Right? Is this another artifact? Again with these fish. Again with these big fishes. This might be one. 
here. Let me see if I can get this one. Now that I know what I'm doing, a bit better. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. At least I know what I'm doing a bit better this time. Right. <laughs> I like this when we're not getting stuck on walls. I like this. It's a little frustrating, but I like it. Alright. I know where most of them are now, so let me um, try and get us at least back to having like eight or nine of them before um, before we continue, because I'd rather not see the end of this, even if I'm a bit rubbish at it. Is there an invisible barrier somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there is. There is, mate, and your bruise noggin just found it. Get down. Well, as you can see, I have um, not been bitten yet by um, Mr. Fishface. I'm sure we'll uh, have to have a better look at his uh, attack animation when we, uh, if, perhaps I should say, to be a little less uh, presumptuous uh, I was finishing this. But, um,. I really rather like this. It's a little tricky at first, but once you kind of get a handle on um, on how it works, that, aha, there it is, perfect. That um, you really have to keep moving. There's there's no substitute for speed, shall we say? Um, because I presume that the fish constantly chases you. It's not a case that he kind of patrols around and then occasionally he'll discover you, chase you for a while, and then if you keep moving, you'll lose him, and then he'll uh, go back to his patrol again for a while. I don't think it works that way. I think he just constantly chases you, so you have to stay ahead of him all the time. Hooray! You have successfully escaped. Congratulations. Yes, I'd like to start again, please. Because I'd like to see a Mr. Fishers. Where's Mr. Fishers? Where is Mr. Fishers? I hear Mr. Fishers, but I do not see Mr. Fishers. I don't know why I'm bothering to turn my head. It's literally combined in a tiny, tiny box. Hello, sneaky fish face. I don't like that little tendril of yours that you've got. That's a bit weird. Well, come on then. You never hesitated to attack me before. Come on. Eat me up like a weird reversal of fish fingers. Indeed. Well then. <laughs> That was quite simple, but I quite liked it. Um, as I said, it made for a jam, so obviously in a very short period of time. But I think it it, it, it does what it sets itself out to do quite well in um, in creating a nice little atmospheric environment with a little bit of a sense of danger and um, gives you a little fun sort of task that requires a, a little bit of skill, a little bit of thinking about. So uh, I rather enjoyed that. That was Deep Relics. I hope you enjoyed that as well. The old flooded rock quarry is getting drained next week. For years it has been the destination to dump anything and everything. Cars, tyres, refrigerators, you name it. The local kids joke about there being a few bodies down there as well. This is exemplified on account of the drownings in the past five years. After the third drowning, the country closed down the quarry and forbid anyone from going near it. Before they drain it, there's something I need to get down in the depths. It's been five years, but I know it's still down there. I need to get it before anyone else does. With my boat and my Scooty Rover Junior, I'm going to dredge the quarry depths and reclaim what's mine. Indeed. So that is the sort of the preface of the what we're doing, I think. We have a little boat. Um, yes, we have a little boat. It seems to make bipping noises. Press left shift to deploy Rover Junior. Okay. Oh, goodness. And my mouse is on the screen. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure there's a heck of a lot that I can do about it. Okay. How does I go up and down? Uh, I, 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 oh, it's space. Do space. Just, just, just levitate a little bit. All right. So, um... Oh, but I can only drive on the... I do sincerely apologise that the cursor is there. I don't think there's anything I can do to get rid of that. Um...
There we are. I got rid of it. I fiddled with the setting at OBS and I got rid of it. Right, aren't I clever and smart and brilliant, very big bright? Right then, what is this thing? Press space to pick up this lampshade. Huzzah! And now we have a riddle from the Riddler to handle. Alright, so there we Okay, never mind. So yes, can you even ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a little game called, um, Dredge the, uh, Dredge the Quarry, I think it's called. Um, Dredge not being a word that I'm familiar with, apparently it means to sort of, um, empty something. Okay, there's a lot of different controls that I need to press it, so I can use the arrows to sort of move my head around. Oh, but I can also... Oh, no, the arrows the arrows and wires do the same thing. That makes life so much easier. What's this thing? What are you, what are you talking about? Um, what did that prompt say? I didn't have time to read it. I was too busy yammering on about rubbish. Press space to crank Scooty back up. Oh, I see. So I can sort of pick him up and drop him back down as, uh, as necessary in order to um, search around for what it is that I need. So I can press space... I could press space to crank him up. I think that was perhaps only uh, only because I was um, only because I was under there. Oh, that's a fridge. I am very small. I thought I was big. I am not big. Those are just some reads. Okay then, let's come under here. Do a bit of button mashing. Some very loud button mashing. Oh no, hold. It's still quite loud, but it's not quite so loud, now that I realise I'm only meant to hold it. <laughs> That's better. This isn't what I was looking for. I need to keep looking. Oh, okay, right, so now I can uh, scoot off to a different location and do a bit more searching, uh, a bit more searching somewhere else. Man alive, um, I don't know who was mining out this quarry, but they had some real OCD for symmetry. That's all I can say. Okay. Beep. Heard a beep. Alright, um, can I send him down? How did I do that again? Is it place? I can't remember. Is it shift? Is it control? I can't remember none of the buttons. Um, maybe that's like a little radar that's trying to tell me the proximity, and if it starts beeping more loudly or more firmly, like now, that might imply we've reached, um, like here. This might imply that we've reached a good place. Here we are. Okay. Okay then, so I shall drop my little, um, my little scooty friend back and plop him down and um, we shall see what else we can find. I don't know if there's any kind of um, villains or um, beasts or monsters or um, particularly difficult to get out of stains that uh, are going to make our lives a living hell down here but um, everything seems to be uh, relatively above board. Just a nice little uh, lot of salvage game which uh, I always rather enjoy. I always like underwater games, even though I, uh, I don't really enjoy being underwater <laughs> in real life or, um, or ever, to be quite frank. Can I scoot my bum through here? I am Scooty Junior. I will scoot my bum. No, I won't, because I've gotten myself ever so slightly stuck. Oh no! Oh no! One of the uh, comments on the YouTube page said something about getting stuck on the geometry. I think I've gotten stuck on the geometry. Oh, the darned geometry. I knew it would be the downfall not only of academia, but also of video games. I think I'm going to have to restart the game. <laughs> Alright. Do we have to deploy him over there? Or can we deploy him in a different place that we haven't been before? Could we come over into this corner, for example, and, uh, and do a bit of salvage operations. I don't know where he is. I presume he's on like the underside of the boat currently, because I can't see him in the little boat with me. To be honest, I can't see an awful lot in the boat with me. I can't even see any hair on my head, but never mind. Doesn't really matter. I do seem to have a pair of shades on though, so at least I am a fashionable sort, if nothing else. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything over here in this corner. Let's... Let's wrestle with these funny camera angles for a while. Um, didn't it go crazy over here last time? No? Am I, am I going crazy? Am I going crazy and imagining things that are not there? Alright, never mind. Let's, um... Let's see what we can find a bit more, uh... Center-wise, in the middle of here. I would emphasize, by the way, that I believe this was this was made for a little jam. And, uh, was only made in about ten days, so, um... Forgive it of any, uh... Of any, um... Little rough edges, or overly smooth edges, as occurs with the uh, with the old landscape here. But never mind. Maybe they made it in Minecraft. There's no real way to know. 
There's also no way to know where it is I'm supposed to drop my little friend off, because I can't seem to find any spots to drop him off, other than the one that we started with. No, I don't think I do have shades on, I just have a big shadow over my chops, and, um, and a funny little beady pout of mischievous eyes. Alright then, I guess uh, it probably wants me to collect the items in a certain sequence, um, or use this first one as like a tutorial. So, um, I will go the wrong way, again, and um, have no idea where I am or what I'm doing, but we'll pretend like everything's fine, and then, um, <laughs> then we'll scoot off in this direction, I suppose. Okay, right. Let me get this first one again, and then we'll find another place to uh, set down old Scooty here. We shall see what else we can find. Here is the Bucket of Doom. Whatever it is. What exactly am I looking for? I must be looking for something that I've buried here. Uh, some... Uh, oh, it's quiet this time? Why is it quiet this time? And last time I was really annoyed. Was it, was it crossing me? Because I pressed the space bar too many times. I'm very sorry. Um, yes, what am I looking for? Am I looking for, like, evidence of a crime that I've committed that I'm hiding here? Like some... Uh, so I feel like there was a slight miscalculation on the, on the, on the, on the, on the you know, on the everything there, <laughs> but never mind. Um, where am I? Joy's of fixed camera angles. Where am I? I have no idea. This is a bit of a problem. Kitty, on. Oh, there we are. Finally, we found something somewhere. <laughs> we found me, more specifically, and we found me to be here. Oh, that I'm grateful. Okay, can I, um, settle down here again? Yes, here we go. We'll do this again and hopefully not get our, uh, not get our butts stuck in between two, uh, overly close bits of rock. Like we did last time. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, I do apologize. I don't mean to be stupid. But yes, what is it that I'm looking for? Am I looking for, like, one of the dead bodies that, um, that I have hidden here? That I, uh, I, I, I need to hide before the, uh, before the police find it. When they uh, when they uncover this place uh, more fully, there's a penny farthing. No, it's bicycle. I mistook the this here for the little wheel. I do sincerely apologise. I have jumped to Victorian conclusions, and now here is a toilet, which is where we can stick most of my jokes. All right, there's a little secret passageway through here. This looks sort of exciting and cool. Except it wasn't very exciting because nothing happened, and it wasn't very cool because there's nothing at the end of it. But other than that, I was completely and utterly correct, apart from in 100% of my suppositions. What's this? This is the big golden trophy from the last time, uh... Oh, I can go straight back up again? Oh, right. Um, from the last time they held the World Cup in the middle of a, um, middle of a quarry, I sincerely apologize. Somebody has decided to join the, uh, join the soiree. Okay, I'm really glad this is so much quieter this time. I don't know why, but would you mind not stepping on the keyboard, Darwin? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I don't know why that was so loud. This isn't either. Where is she? Oh, goodness, I am looking for a person, perhaps. Am I actually looking for a body, then? Is that what I'm looking for? The, um, the dead body of some poor soul that um, the Mafia presumably have murdered and have booted their bodice in here to uh, dispose of them, and I need to fish out their corpse, even though it's probably been eaten by all of the fish by now, that, um, so the police don't find it and don't put me in prison. Get to your heart. Um, this is a strange camera angle, I thought we were seeing a massive gap in the wall, but no, I think that stuff on the right is just a bit of grass. <laughs> Never mind. This might work better, actually, from a kind of a top-down perspective. It'd be a little bit less interesting than the, uh, than the fixed camera angles it's using, but it would be more reliable, if nothing else, so, um... Oh goodness, got many vipper noises. Is this the place? This is the place! Deploy the Scooty Rover. What a phrase. Kitty nut. Also, am I going mad, or is this a school bus? Right. Now, one of two things happened. Either a school bus was, um... Uh, it disused and was chucked in here by somebody who doesn't understand environmental waste regulation, or a whole busload of school kids were driving to school and the bus driver was a bit drunk and flew off the cliff without realising and then they all crashed down here and died. Which is not exactly excellent either. 
is this where we're going to find the body? It seems like a sort of place where a body might be. And it would be, I was going to say, well preserved. No, it wouldn't be. Nothing is well preserved underwater. But uh, it might uh, it might be in slightly better condition in the sense that all the bones might have floated, floated away. Do bones float? I, I honestly have no idea. I presume if they were hollow, they would probably float. I don't know. I'm not a murderer. I don't murder people and chuck their bodies in the river, so I don't know. I don't know these things. I'm not an expert in this department. Um, oh goodness, there's a little underground cave. It's like playing some nautica. If there's a body that we're looking for, I doubt it's going to be down here. How would it have washed under here? This, um, this seems a little unlikely, unless it was uh, picked up by a horde of undersea ants who then picked it up and carried it into their den. But uh, I've never heard of ants that live underwater, and I've never heard of ants that could pick up anything as big as a bone. But, uh, what do I know? Oh, there's a red blob here. There is a little mine cart. I mean, naturally. You can't draw me back up through here. I'm underground. That's just silly. Okay, that is more reasonable. We can go up from here. Kitty. You can't just levitate someone out of the rock, alright? That, uh, that goes slightly beyond the powers of even powerful groups like the Mafia. Okay, I think that's maybe the boat there in front of me, just to the left a little bit. I can't move the mouse left and right. Ugh. There she is. She's missing her jewellery, though. Must have fallen out when she was dragged. I know she had it on her. It was probably worth a lot. So I'm looking for a body that we put in a, that we put in a sports bag. Okay, am I still looking for the jewelry in the same place? <laughs> that was that was a weird face. That's the kind of distended, blue, dead, horrified face of a murder victim that's been stuck underwater for many, many, many years that I would kind of expect to see when I unzip a body bag that we found at the bottom of the sea. But still, it was a bit disturbing. Um, so, are we looking for the jewelry for sentimental value? Because um, we we don't want to uh, we don't we don't want to be without it, or are we looking f f for financial value? Because we don't want to, well we don't want to be without it. Um, can't go can't go this way. Yes, I think I can. Can I find anything? I don't, really don't want to get stuck again. So I'm going to be really careful about not shoving myself into overly small gaps. Um, hmm. It must be down here in this area, surely, because it was continuing to beep and it was continuing to let me bring uh, Scooty down here. And here are a load of lollipop sticks that have been stuck to half of a dog collar. Why was this not here five minutes ago when I drove past? <laughs> Kitty Hunt. <laughs> Strange game. Strange game, but I like it. I like it sort of uh, mystery about not knowing whether I should uh, like the main character or hate him because he's trying to retrieve the uh, the body of his uh, dear friend and uh, prized family heirlooms or whether he's uh, just trying to prevent the police from figuring out he's done a crime. I'm leaning more on the crime side of things because if it was a friend or a family member surely he'd come and collect the body as soon as he knew it was here. He wouldn't wait until the day before they drained the, uh, drained the proverbial swamp. Surely that, uh, surely that is not the scenario that we're dealing with. All right, anything else around here? Um, did I leave anything behind in my haste? I don't believe that I did. No. All right, then I shall have to leave. Um, I presume there is more down there, or down here rather, in this zone, because it's not bringing up the prompt to let me, uh, not bringing up the prompt to uh, bring me back up. Perhaps, uh, perhaps I need to return to the the beam in sight, if you like, before Chief O'Brien can get a transporter lock. Perhaps that is uh, that is what I need to do. I was going to say the lighting is done quite well, but it's not really lighting. It's more sort of murkiness. The murkiness is done quite well uh, in making it uh, difficult to see, but still just just uh, visible enough to. Um, to mean that you don't get totally and completely stuck. Am I going crazy or am I moving slower than usual? No, I'm probably going crazy. I feel like maybe my battery's running out or something. I have no reason to believe there's any kind of battery meter. But uh, let's see if we can go back up with, um, with whatever this thing is that we've got. Yes, here we are. Crank myself back up. 
did, um, I know NASA's been uh, not doing well for funding in the last couple of decades, but uh, are they really having to sell off moon rovers to the Mafia in order to make ends meet? It's a bit sad. Oh, you're still alive? Oh, the end. Well, uh, da, 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 okay. Um, yes, made for little jam, but for ten days. Made by good people, nice people. Let us know what you think. I think that cats are nice. Oh, but the game specifically. Oh, well, it's quite a nice one. Thank you. <laughs> is, uh, is that it? Okay. I actually quite like this. You know, it's simple and it's silly, but um, you could argue it doesn't have enough story. But in my opinion, it's got just enough story to be interesting. And that little thing is adorable. I wish we could see it. I wish we could see it. But, um, yeah, I like this. I like this little, little blend of um, having a little boat that you can go around, a little dinghy. Um, you can power slide in, I think that's kind of cool, and you don't notice this is adorable. Um, and then you've got your, uh, your little scooty creature that can, do, can scoot about, quite literally, and, uh, and do little things in order to collect bits of treasure. So, um, yeah, I quite like it. It's little, it's cute, it's, um, it's simple, but it's, uh, it's this one and funny. I just really wish we could see, I wish we could see the boot of Scoot, but unfortunately I don't believe we will ever get the opportunity to see such things. Never mind, you can't have everything, and we've already got a lampshade, a uh, Premier League cup, a sports bag, a dead body, and a load of um, Magnum lollipop sticks attached to a dog collar, and a bicycle, and a refrigerator, and a bus, and a dinghy, and a pair of eyes, and a pair of jeans. So, frankly, when you've got all of that, how could you be so greedy as to ask for anything more? I've also realised... Well, actually, no, I thought it was a bucket at first, but I don't think it is, because it doesn't seem to be hollow, like in this bit. So, maybe it's a big padlock or something. I don't know. I shall sit here and ponder that, um, and say thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen, for this rather bizarre experience. Um, look after each other, and good night.